Hello, today we're going to be creating a delivery note from a sales order automatically using Frappe Cloud and server scripts. Before we go ahead and do that, we're going to enable server scripts to avoid this error message. To do that, we need to log into our Frappe Cloud account. Uh, we're going to be selecting our site and changing the configuration by adding a specific key and then finally clicking on update configuration to confirm our changes. So here I'm logging in to our Frappe Cloud account. Then I'm going to click on the site. Then I'm going to go to the site config menu. Then we're going to click on edit config, add key, and then on the key field, we type server underscore script underscore enabled. And then we select a Boolean with a value of one and click on update config. With that, we have created the configuration for enabling server scripts to be run on our Frappe Cloud site. Now, we're going to log into our site and go to the server script list view and we're going to click on new and then we're going to type a name, a type of script, a reference doc type, a doc type event, and then we're going to be adding our script which we will test at the end of this video. So we log in as an administrator. We go to the awesome bar and type script server. There. And as you can see, we have nothing created yet. So we're going to click on create your first server script. And we're going to name it delivery note from sales order which is going to be a doc type event. This is going to be attached to sales order, of course. And we're going to be running this after we submit our sales order. Now, before we continue, I'm just going to create a little Python comment here just to be able to save the server script so I can peacefully work on creating our code. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a list of items that we're going to be inserting into our delivery note. To do that, we create an empty list called items to load. And then we are going to be creating a for loop for each item in doc.items from the sales order. We're going to be appending to this list the following dictionary on each iteration. The first key is item code with the value of item dot item code referring to the current item being parsed on the for loop. Then we're going to be selecting the rate After that, we want the quantity. And finally, we want the unit of measure. Okay, so that creates our loop and now we are going to auto create uh, our delivery note. So we do that with frappe.getdoc using a dict and for that we're going to be assigning the following values. Uh, the first one is selecting the doc type, which is going to be a delivery note. 
Then we're going to title this delivery note with the exact same name as our customer. Then we're also going to pass our sales order customer to the delivery note customer. They have to be the same naturally. We're also going to select the company from the sales order. And we're going to be creating this delivery note with a draft status. We're not going to submit it. And that is a doc status of zero. Finally, we add the items. And to this, we add our items to load list that we just parsed above. And we enclose that and then add a dot insert. So with this, we have created our delivery note. And finally, we're going to be providing the user a message with for pay dot message print stating that their delivery note for a specific customer. And we're going to take that value from the current customer we're creating. So we're going to be stating that the delivery note for our customer has been created. We're also going to title this message box something else. We're going to call it automation. And finally, we're going to uh, add an indicator color of green for success. Excellent. So we can save our server script, which is ready to run. So now we're going to go to the sales order. We're going to create a new one and we're going to edit, save and submit our sales order. And we should have our delivery note created, which we will verify. So we go to the selling module. We click on sales order. Obviously, we have no sales orders created and we're going to make a sales order for a customer we've preloaded. Uh, with a delivery date of December the 23rd. This customer has ordered some uh, keyboards and some computer devices. So we select those items. We're also going to add a mouse. Or maybe five. And we're going to save our sales order. And before we submit, I'm just going to go check and verify that we have no delivery notes created. And you can see here, this is the list view for delivery notes and there's no delivery notes created on this server. We're going to submit it, click yes, and we should get our automation message that the delivery note for Santa Claus has been created. So we close our message and we're going to go verify that indeed we have two keyboards and five mouse on each uh, sale, uh, delivery note. As you can see, it's created in a draft. And you can see that all the items were passed correctly. With that, we have automated the creation of a delivery note from a sales order. Thank you very much.